So you asked for a more in-depth uh, review of the YM50, which this is the RE edition, and I'm I would be doing this outside, but it is way too bright and the exposure is just too much. So we're going to do it in in the garage. Before I show you uh, starting the bike, I'm going to go through some specifications with you about the bike. It is a 49cc four-stroke. It has the Italian Dell'Auto e-carb system. It is a Euro 4 spec, so the headlights are always on. Uh, it's built for low emissions and etc. It's got a Moto GP sport style exhaust. Uh, you, there was two different silencer options, which you had the standard single, which I decided to go with, and a twin race exhaust, which I will put a picture of now. It is four speed manual, so there's gears neutral, one, two, three, and four. You go one down, three up. There is a gear indicator on the main display. Front and rear disc brakes, LED indicators, LED lights, which make them a lot brighter compared to my last one. Uh, rear hugger, 12 litre fuel tank, twin piston calipers, foldable mirrors, digital dash, 17 wheels, 110 front and 140 rear tyres. So the front tyre is skinnier than the back tyre. Which it's all very nice. 800 millimeter seat height. Full size bike. It looks like a 600 cc, which is always good because I'm not a fan of scooters. It's got a good build quality and it's fully road legal for 16 year olds. And the colours available are the white and blue, which I have, and the white and red, which I'll put a picture of now. Okay, so one of the most important features of the bike is the controls. So. We're gonna go through that, like for delivery and the dealership did with me. So basically, kill switch. Um, I'll show you that one in a minute. That is the electric start under it. The ignition and kill switch is off, so it won't start. Um, that is your choke, full beam, low beam. That is your pass, which flash your high beam. It's your indicators, no standard, left, right, push in to cancel. That's your horn, also electric. Ignition's pretty easy, you just switch it on. It'll do all this fancy stuff. That temperature light will go off in a minute. And there you go. So this is the main control panel. And we've also got the back brake and kill and kick start here. So that's the kick start, that's the back brake. And the other side we have the gear lever, which is all the controls you need, you know, fuel valve is not really a controller. The bike does also have a back seat, which comes off. I'll show that in a minute. It's got back pegs, a nice exhaust, uh, a very nice engine as well, which is branded with Yamazaki on it. The kickstart comes out like this, and then you push it down, you get the pressure, and then you kick it. Uh, back brake is normal, just like that, and then yeah, be quite hard to show the fuel tap as it's under there which you can just see it here, that's the fuel tap which you can turn your fuel on and off with and I'll show you how the back seat comes off now just, just like any other bike you grab the keys I can't remember if it's, it's the other side, last one so you grab your keys, you go to your, your keyhole yeah, turn it, come on there you go, back seat comes off and you get your storage, your electrics, and a cable which allows you to. Sorry, there's bad light in here. And you can play with the ECU with that. Which also does give you a bit of storage, but so I will be storing my certificate, license, and insurance in. Getting the seat back on is a massive pain, so I'll do that now. Okay, so on the other side, which is harder for me to get to, we've got the same branded engine. We have the gear lever, which goes into the engine. We've got the side stands and the pegs which there's also a peg for the back as well there. And I also just show my custom dice caps, which I put on with my mate as a laugh. I forgot to take them off. I'm thinking about keeping them on now. So they kind of go with the bike. <laughs> Incredibly bright out here. I had to put my sunglasses on to actually be able to see. So, okay. We're going to start the bike up and we're going to see how it sounds. Two things to note is that 
you can't have the kickstand down to start it because it's Euro 4 spec and you can use either electric or kickstart. I prefer electric start but that does require a bit of choke. Okay so on the bike now, Kicks, kickstand is up, just make sure it's all the way up, yep. Right, ignition on. It is cold so we have to let it warm up a bit first, I haven't used it in a day. A uh, bit of choke and electric start. <laughs> Give it a minute. Come on. All right, try again. It's just because it's cold. It's not a bad bike or anything. And I've got to be quick across the choke. All right. If I had two hands, this would be so much easier. Ready? There you go. Calm the bike down a little bit, you might actually be able to hear me. Let's see if we can set it, let, let it sit. You might not sit because it's cold. There you go. Yeah. So we successfully started up the bike with one hand, somehow. Uh, yeah, I think it's about to stop. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. That is the Yamazaki. I will take it for a test ride soon. I just have to sort my GoPro out a little bit more. I can't quite get a camera mount that is good for my helmet where you get a good view and angle like this. Unless I hold my phone, which is incredibly dangerous and I don't really feel like dying for a video. But yeah. Thank you all so much for watching the Yamazaki extended review that was requested. It is a very nice bike and I'll be doing more videos with it in the future. I have a list of videos that I want to do with it. And I'd like to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.